Hello, for this video I'm going to show you how to sew fold over elastic to the Luna loungewear. So if you're not familiar with fold over elastic, it is a type of elastic, as you can see here, it's stretchy, but it has one side that is kind of shimmery usually and the other side matte. The matte side is the wrong side that's inside and I don't know how well you can see it on here, but there's like a groove that goes right down the center. So that's where you fold. And that's where this elastic gets its name. You fold it over and encase the raw edge of your item within it. Hence the name fold over elastic. So I like to sew mine in two steps. So first I have the wrong side of my top and I'm going to place the wrong side of the elastic against it. I have the center of my elastic lined up with the center of the front of my Luna cami. And then I'm going to line this raw edge up with that center point of the elastic, just like so. So, I'm gonna take this to the machine now I don't use a lot of pins. You can use as many pins as you are comfortable with, but I like to stretch it as I go. I don't stretch the beginning. So for the beginning, I'm only going to sew um, probably an inch without stretching to get it anchored in place. And you do want a zigzag stitch for this. So I like a slightly longer stitch and a little bit of width on it. So I'm gonna end up at like 3.5 for my length and I'm at 3.5 for my width. I'm just going to, ooh, that is not long enough. I'm taking my length to five for this. This step is pretty much a basting also because we're gonna sew it in two steps, remember? So you're going to stretch your elastic to fit the neckline, but don't stretch your fabric. It's kind of a learning process to do that, and you'll get it with some practice. Don't worry if you don't get it right away. And you want to keep your fabric so that it's in line with the middle of your fold over elastic. You can always do this from the reverse side from, if you prefer, whatever is easiest for you. I'm a big believer in that. We all learn our own techniques and everything. So. And then, kind of stretch it a little bit extra right there so that I have minimal stretching at the so that it matches the other side. Okay, so this is the right side. And you can see that the raw edge is about halfway on the elastic. This is the side that we sewed. So you can see it's attached there. So now we're going to take our elastic and just fold it over and encase the edge. So just fold it over like that. I am going to grab some clips and clip it in place. You can also iron this. So um, fold over elastic. Be careful with the temperature of your iron. You don't want to melt it because it does have the elastic fibers in it that can melt. So use a pressing cloth. Watch your temperature. But um, I have seen people iron it in half first and it, it does help. So right like that, see how it's all encased. We have the raw edge encased and now I'm going to zigzag stitch right down that edge. So again, I'm not going to stretch at first to let that anchor in place. And 
then I am going to stretch it. Just stretch it gently. Um, you don't you don't want to stretch it so much that you're stretching out your fabric. However, if you do stretch out your fabric in this step, it will bounce back into place. You, it's most critical not to stretch your fabric when you're first attaching that elastic to it. our fold over elastic and then I do have a contrasting thread on the reverse side so that well, hopefully that shows up for you so you can see that zigzag stitch down there so some people do like to do it in one step where you're you know match your centers attach it fold it over stretch and stitch I find that too finicky. I like to take the time to do it in two steps and then I can ensure that everything gets caught where it needs to be caught. So that is how we sew the binding, the fold over elastic um, option for our Luna loungewear.